Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Macy. If you're new here, I'm a first year law student at Northwestern California University School of Law. They're 100% online, so I'm taking you guys on a week in my life. You may notice this mess behind me. Um, that's because we're moving. So I was not going to say anything until we actually move just to make sure everything's like finalized and all of that. But we officially gave our 30 day notice to our landlord yesterday because, well, we were already planning on giving them our notice yesterday just cause we had to have 30 days. Um, but then they also decided to raise our rent. So I was like, well, good thing I was planning on giving them our 30 day notice already today. So we're moving. It's a hot mess. All of my plants are up here. We've already started doing some stuff. The second we started finalizing everything, we actually started packing just because I was in Vegas last weekend. Well, we both were. And then I'm going to Hawaii this coming week. So there's just a lot going on and I'm gonna be gone like the majority of the time when we need to be packing. So I just wanted to kind of get a head start on it. Even if what we have in the works for some reason doesn't work out, we already gave our 30 day notice, so we got to move out anyways. Um, it's a little too late. There's no going back now. Um, I'm not going to explain yet what our plan is, what all is going on, just until everything is completely done and finalized. But yeah, it's really exciting. So we packed up most of our extra linens, so like extra towels and that kind of thing i don't know if we packed up extra like bath towels but i'm going to do what's left of our laundry and pack up anything like any other extra towels that were in the laundry we're just gonna leave a couple out for each of us just to use until we move into the new place um and i'm gonna work on packing up all of my clothes today Actually, I'm going to pack for Hawaii first, and then I'll start packing up my clothes. I actually was already at work for like almost two hours today, but my boss has to take his wife to the airport, so he closed early. So I get a longer lunch today, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to do the laundry while I have a little bit of energy, and then I may take a nap because I am still like jet lagged from Vegas. There's no time difference from California or anything, but I'm just exhausted because we did so much. We stayed up late. We walked so freaking much. Oh, let me show you my little packing moving schedule. Okay, so on my little calendar, I wrote out all of the dates. Um, and then I just picked like one item per day. Well, actually what I did, and I don't have it right now, but I wrote out an entire list on paper of everything that needed to be packed up. And then I divvied it out on all of the days. So we are hoping to be moving on this day that is our goal um obviously it could change um that's because zach has monday tuesday wednesday off this is thanksgiving which we both have off and i have friday black friday off and then i have saturday sunday and then he again has monday tuesday wednesday off so if we are able to move in on this day it would make things way less stressful we'd have so much time to finish packing up because I'll have this day off as well, um, get our rental clean and turn our keys in and then start unpacking in the new place. So this is um, our thing. We should be here. Do not touch box is just a little box I'm going to put together with some cleaning supplies we'll need once the house is empty, some clothes to live off of like our last week, towels, a couple towels, that kind of thing. Um, so we were gone this weekend in Vegas. Um, so I need to finish packing up the bar cart, pack up the rest of my books. I already did some of them. My craft supplies, our camping stuff just needs to get organized. I did my extra bags already, our extra cleaning supplies, and start working on our do not touch box. And then I'm going to Hawaii here. So we got a lot going on, but it's going to be good. We also already did our plants, so that's good. Are just moving right along. It's gonna fly by. I can't even believe it. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna do this laundry now, like I said, and I'm probably gonna watch Grey's Anatomy. I'm probably gonna watch Grey's Anatomy while I do that. 
it's just a lot more fun and I want to watch TV anyway so might as well do both All right, so I'm mostly done packing for Hawaii, so I thought I would share what all I am bringing. Um, I do still need to find a white tank top that I think is in the wash, and maybe like another top or another dress, just one more thing. Um, we're gonna be gone for eight days. So here I have part of my airport outfit, just leggings and a light jacket, because it can get cold on the plane. Um, I have a nicer dress for any like nicer dinners we go to. I have this like kimono to wear probably with shorts. Um, I have this little romper and a couple like tank tops here. I have my Hawaiian style shirt that I got from Walmart and my Hawaii shirt that I bought last year when we went. I have two pairs of shorts, one pair of long pants just in case any of the excursions we do require you to have like your legs covered. I don't know. You just never know when you're going to need pants. Um, I have some shorts to wear under my dress if I need it and then a pajama set. I brought two swimsuits. So the first is this one that has like little flowers on it and this other one is like matte cheetah print and then I also have a swimsuit cover up. I have a hat for if we go hiking, flip-flops, and just some tennis shoes, and then I still have like, you know, socks and underwear and my makeup, toiletry stuff that I need to pack. I feel like I'm missing stuff, but I'm honestly just exhausted and ready to be on vacation, so fun stuff. It's actually been a couple days since I filmed the last couple of clips. Um, this has been the craziest week of my life. There's been so much going on. I like have not recovered from being in Vegas so I'm so freaking tired my sleep schedule is so thrown off if you know me I always go to bed by like nine o'clock like sleep by nine usually ten at the very 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 latest and I've been staying awake until midnight the last um I think every single night since we've been home so I can't even I have one more day left at work and then I get to go on vacation. I need to pack some stuff around the house because we're aiming to be moved out around like right before Thanksgiving. That's our ideal plan. Anything can happen. It might not go that way, but in a perfect world, that's what we would like to do, which gives me like four days when I get home from Hawaii to pack. So... I need to do something. Um, I think I'm gonna pack up the rest of these books. The suitcase is stuffed full of books that were on my book cart and I have some more in the bookshelf in the closet but I think my like main priority is gonna be to get like all the closet stuff packed up before I go um, because then the rest of it is just like clothes and kitchen stuff. So yeah have a lot to do. My mom and I are sharing a suitcase so I stuck my airport outfit and all of my stuff in this box that way I can transfer it all to the suitcase um and then when I get the other couple items that I need I can just kind of stuff them in here this way I can just carry this over to her house and pack all of my stuff up it's out of the way from the office so I can work on packing random stuff I'll probably pack everything on here I'll leave out like a couple pair of pants that I don't need
Okay, so pretty much all of my books are packed up in these four bags. I do have one small row left down on the bottom, so I'm going to find something that I can put those in, maybe like one of these boxes. Um, and then I kind of need your guys' help. I feel like I could totally use my book cart strategically to pack, because um, I don't want to just stick it in the moving truck or anything just empty the way it is. But I don't know what to put on it that's going to stay on it and not just kind of be pointless. Because, I mean, I could just stick anything on there. But I want it to be something that strategically makes sense for packing and minimizing space and being the most efficient, if that makes sense. <sighs> I don't know if that makes sense at all today. Uh, yeah. Also, I know probably the majority of my subscribers are here for my law school content. The bags under my eyes are insane. Um, more law school content is coming. I'm just kind of in the middle of midterms and studying for finals, so I don't have a whole lot going on. I'm just studying my flashcards and my outlines and waiting for my midterms to come back so that I can schedule my finals. So there's a little mini law school update. Not a lot going on. That's why I haven't been posting any law school content. Uh, I'm just getting down to the end of my 1L year, which is insane. Here is the current state of this closet. Um, most of this stuff up here is stuff like keepsake stuff that I don't really get to all of that often. Um, I have a lot of like pictures. We never hung anything up on the walls in here. And then I have some wedding stuff. I'm not sure what's in that bin. I think it's miscellaneous home decor. Those plates can go with Christmas stuff, and then most of this is all my craft stuff, so it can get reorganized, and honestly, I'll probably just tape that up, and it can all stay in there. Wrapping paper, I'll probably just put a garbage bag over it, and maybe, like, tape it up so it'll all stay in there. And then we have this bookshelf on the other side that I need to find a container for the rest of the books. And then the rest of this is, like, school supply type stuff, which can maybe go in this filing cabinet. I'm going to try to keep all my law school stuff together because that'll be very important when finals come up in a few weeks. And then I have, like, the rest of this stuff. Okay, so until I know what's actually going to go in this car on moving day, I'm going to put, like, all of my wedding stuff in here. That way I can just have it all in one place. So this is like stuff I was going to do for a mock tablescape. Just to try to figure out what we like. Um, and some of these chargers. I have swatches. Some other stuff to go for the tablescape. And then down here so I wouldn't lose them I put the guest books that I already bought so those can hang out there I just don't want this stuff to get lost mm -hmm. 